In this video, I'm going to be breaking down a really simple tip that you can utilize to beat the man-to-man -man meta that we're seeing right now in Madden 22. Now, if you're still playing Madden, if you're still playing Mutt, um, I just want to let you know that if you want to get better, I would really encourage you to get my Patreon membership. It's only $10 to sign up, and it'll get you access to my full trips tied in offensive ebook. And in addition to that, it'll also get you access to any of my new ebooks and all of my Madden 22 ebooks. Uh, that I've released over the course of the season. We've released 30 ebooks this year. And if you want to check that out, again, the Patreon will get you access to all of them. They're all available just by joining today. If you want to sign up for that, the link is down below. Now, one of the things that I wanted to talk about in this video is a meta that I've seen, especially against trips tied in. We're getting kind of one of two things. We're getting basically a lot of the essentially trips match quarter defense that I put out, I think, in September. Um, and then we're also getting a lot of man press, some kind of like cover one robber with two per purples user the post um that's a lot of what we're getting so i wanted to give you a play that is actually from last season but i actually think it's a little bit better than it was last year i think it's better this year so really simple setup and you can do this out of pats y in you could do this out of pa shot wheel you could do this out of pa counter go if you have outside our apprentice or hot route master the one thing that really makes this play go well is having a slot apprentice so if you have a hot route master then you're good if you have a hot route master you don't need tight end apprentice or slot apprentice if you don't have hot route master i think slot apprentice would make this really good or even a tight end apprentice would make this setup really good but it's real simple and i like to do this out of the play pa counter go um or pa shot will kind of depending on honestly um how how the the route's doing i like the the s post but you can do it out of anything. So we're going to use PA shot wheel today, and we're just going to move the ball. We definitely want to have, if possible, our trips to the wide side field, but you could do this on either side. It it works on either hash mark, and really this is for the man coverage meta. So what I've been getting a lot is something essentially along these lines, like something like this, and then they know that we don't put the running back out on a route a lot, so they just kind of use her this guy. And this is basically the defense. And then, you know, if they're doing the match quarter stuff, this guy could be in a quarter. But normally speaking, especially after we motion into two by two, he'll be in a third. Now, if they don't have a safety over the top, this is what's going to make this really a special concept. So all we're going to do from a setup perspective is we're going to essentially run our slant post concept. If you don't have tight end apprentice and you only have slot apprentice, then put the tight end on a smart routed in. OK, a smart routed in is very good this year. It's probably one of the best routes in the game this year. We're going to slant circle. OK, we're going to put uh, Gronkowski on a smart routed in. If you want to put the running back on an out route, you can. OK, if you want to put the running back on an out route, you can. I also like to put the tight end on Tyler Prince post. OK, we're then going to put triangle here. Scotty Miller, our slot on a stop and go. So you see here. I switched his route to a stop and go, and then we're going to motion him to the right, and as soon as he passes the center, we're going to smart route the route, and we want to snap it just before he sets his feet. So he motions over. I'm getting ready to hit the button. Boom. I smart route it so it goes down. Let me show you here, and you see there he is. Now, we want to snap it a little bit before there. I was kind of, for whatever reason, thinking my adjustments didn't register, but let me show you how it works. So again, ah, crap. So, again, all we're going to do, and, and, again, normally what people do is they shade underneath. But I'm not even going to worry too much about the shade. I just want you to watch because when you motion snap a stop and go, just like last year, it's really effective against man-to-man. -man. So, um, boom. Ah, crap, I messed that up again. <laughs> Let me motion him back. Um, but literally just you put him on a stop and go before you motion him and then because that way he'll keep the stop and go, of course. And then once he passes the center – you're going to see I'm going to quickly smart route it right now, smart route it, and then snap the ball once he gets out here. And what you'll see is a stop and go, if you watch closely, a lot of times it'll get you a step over the top of that safety, and you'll be in a position where you can get over the top. Now, again, Brady doesn't have the best arm, but, you know, nine times out of ten, this will beat um, any kind of cover one uh, style of defense. So I'll show you again. So put him on a stop and go, and then you can just feel free to do something like this. I'd smart route the S post. Boom. I'd let him get out here just a little bit. Let him kind of do that. See see right there. See how he blew by him? And then all you have to do is lob it up, 
and as you can see, that's a one play a one play touchdown. And with the quarterbacks that you'll be using in the ultimate team and stuff like that, um, it's going to be really, really hard. So now what they're going to have to do is they're going to have to deep half this uh, safety on this side of the field. The problem for the defense is now we get them in a position where they're basically going to be outflanked because they can't use her everything, right? They can't use her everything. So now you're tied in a post. We know how good the tight end post is this year. And what you'll see is there's no zone – for that that you know you got my slant there and then i got my tight end post over here see i can kind of hit that over the purple and then the other thing that i can do let's say they are going to do this where they're going to have a purple here they got to have a d path here okay so now let's say that you know let's just say assume that you know this this guy right here is their is their user and they're going to go guard the tight end. They're going to take the tight end post. Now your whole right side of the field is able to be uh, manipulated with your routes. So boom, boom. They do have the deep half, so you see the safeties over the top. Okay, but now look at my slant. It's wide open. I'll just take my slant, and as you can see, I can really mess with man-to-man. -man. And so it forces them out of man-to-man. -man. Now, I want to show you something else that I think is really, really cool um, about this concept. So let's say, for example, okay, so we got them out of man. And now they're going to run some cover too because they need a deep half over the top of the out and up. So I want you to watch. This is kind of a, a little bit of a tender throw, but this is something that I've been working on. I think it's actually relatively effective. So it's the same exact route combination, but the only difference is now they're in a cover two zone. And what you'll see is if you get him to snap at the right time, the deep half will absolutely not guard him, and they'll split the safeties just like so. And as you can see, that can burn him over the top. Now, another thing that's really interesting, and this is a little bit tighter of a throw, but this is something else that you can do. A lot of times, um, I'm telling you, like a lot of times, this deep half is going to get sucked inside by the slant. So what you can do with this route combination, again, this is providing that your running back is blocking. Get this guy out here like so. Let him be late in the play. And watch this out and up. Hard right pass lead. Sometimes you can kind of fit that in over the top. Now, again, that's a little bit tighter of a throw, but that's something else. And a lot of times what people also do, this is another little quick pro tip for you. Um, a lot of times I get a lot of this coverage right here that I'm about to show you. So it's basically like a cover three, something like this, okay? And they take this guy and put him on an inside quarter so that they can stop the post that I showed you was able to get open against cover two. Well, this is a great combo for that. And the reason why is because this slant will hold the inside quarter underneath or the post will basically hold it. And what you'll see is this out and up will kind of sneak over the top and that quarter, see how that quarter does not play it and it gets wide open for a one play touchdown. So this is another thing that you can do in your in your offense that really forces them to have um, a little bit more symmetry in their coverage, which opens everything else up for your offense. This is a great way to be able to beat man. It's great constraint theory play, being able to beat a lot of the coverages that could potentially give you trouble. It's one of my favorite plays in the game right now, especially if I get someone that's running a lot of man to man. This is one of my favorite plays to go to. Thanks for watching the video. If you want to get my full trips tied in offensive ebook, there's a link in the description below where you can go join our Patreon for just 10 bucks, get you access to the full trips tight end offense and every other offensive and defensive ebook that we have over there, uh, including some of our newer stuff and some of our updates to our trips tight end. Thanks for watching. If you want to get the Patreon, head down to the description and click the link down below.